because a lot of people, either they didn't want to remember what had happened because it was hard. Uh, you only see a, a small, small snippet of what happened to these people. Um, this book is really, really just written and telling of what actually occurred there. A lot of people didn't remember things, didn't want to go back to those places. Because of his book, and because of the detailed accounts of, of this man's journey, and this man's struggle with his family, he was able to go and testify and bring this book into evidence. I was a former prosecutor, so I know the importance of, of testimony, and I know the importance of being able to have right testimony in order to bring these people um, to justice. So he did that because of this, of this, this young boy, sorry, my, my hair gets this because it's a very uh, important story for me. Um, so this young boy is out there possibly somewhere. Um, this is the boy that you play. He had to make a decision that no parent has to make in order to um, survive. And he still, when I saw him in April, I told him that I'm going to do a virtual reality project of his story, which he thought, am I going to become a game? What, what does that mean? He couldn't really understand what that was because he is 77 years old. He, um, he said to me, well, do you think we'll find him? And with some friends of mine at MIT, we used uh, algorithms to age the boy into what he would look like today. And so um, we aged him, and I showed him what his son looked like. And it was a very, very emotional moment for the both of us. He reached over and hugged me. He said, maybe we could put that in the experience, and maybe someone may know something about my son. So what you're doing here today, it may be a little haphazard. It's new technology. We're learning it. We're doing it. But you're doing something really, really impactful. Because virtual reality, and the reason why I've gone from film, and I've made a bunch of movies into this medium, is because Virtual reality has a, a possibility of impacting your neuroscience. The moment you put on that headset and you have great immersion based on your beautiful acting abilities to make the person that puts that headset on to feel that that is that father that is suffering the loss of his family, then what happens is you are making them actually physically change from hormones to emotions so that I'm hoping that by people changing in that moment by living living this man's story, that, in that moment, people will actually get up and do something about what's happening. So your, your talents are needed. I encourage your input. Um, I want you guys to really like understand the magnitude of what you're doing and how much I really appreciate you guys being here, despite the short notice, despite some of the craziness. We're all here for a purpose, and I picked you, and we picked you because of that reason. Um, what I'd like to do first is uh, he will not be part of the frame, you know, right? Because he's represented by the camera. But what I'd like to do first, because we're all kind of like feeling this out a little bit and feeling each other, getting to know each other a little bit better and getting into character, is I'd like to first run a scene as if you are in the scene. You won't be able to move much, so try to stay 